Welcome everybody to our Little Steps Nativity. It's so good to see you today as we travel back in time to learn again the old story of how Jesus came to be born. to count everyone. Let's all count. One, two, three. You get the idea. So Joseph left Nazareth, a town in Galilee, and went to the town of Bethlehem. Joseph's family came from Bethlehem, which was called the town of David. He registered with Mary, who was now pregnant, because she was engaged to be married to him. Here we go up to Bethlehem, Bethlehem, Bethlehem. Here we go up to Bethlehem on a cold and frosty morning. got to be counted in Bethlehem, Bethlehem, Bethlehem. We've got to be counted in Bethlehem on a cold and frosty morning. Where shall we stay in Bethlehem, Bethlehem, Bethlehem? Where shall we stay in Bethlehem on a cold and frosty morning? Joseph and Mary had nowhere to stay when the time came for Mary to have her baby. They borrowed a cattle shed where she gave birth to Jesus. Mary wrapped the baby up well and laid him in a food trough because the guest room was full. Stars in the bright sky Look down 
Some shepherds were watching their sheep. A shining angel appeared to them, and they were afraid. But the angel said to them, Don't be frightened. I have some very good news for you. News that will make everyone happy. Today, your Saviour was born in Bethlehem. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a feeding trough. Then lots of angels joined in, all praising God. The shepherds went running and found Mary and Joseph. And there was the baby lying in the feeding trough. When they saw the baby, they explained what the angels said about this child. And everyone was surprised. The shepherds in the field are fast asleep, fast asleep, fast asleep. The shepherds in the field are fast asleep on Christmas night. The angels in the sky are shining bright, shining bright, shining bright. The angels in the sky are shining bright on Christmas night. The angels tell the shepherds, go and see, go and see, go and see. The angels tell the shepherds, go and see, on Christmas night. The shepherds tell the whole world, Jesus is born, Jesus is born, Jesus is born. The shepherds tell the whole world, Jesus is born, on Christmas night. After Jesus was born, some wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. They asked people, where is the child born to be the king of the Jews? We saw his special star and have come to worship him. The wise men gave Jesus gold, frankincense and myrrh. Christmas message makes a great story focusing children at this time of year. But for those within the Christian faith, the story is more than just a children's story. It's a very grown-up story, in fact. Those writing the Bible didn't have nativity plays in mind, but rather retelling the greatest story our world has ever seen. It's a story about hope in dark times, love in the pain of life, peace amongst fighting, grace in the snatching for power. In these challenging days, the story of Jesus' birth is one that is overflowing with love and peace. Two things our world has always needed and needs in abundance at this moment. There's no magic wand in our nativity story, 
But there is hope. Hope that our world is not just as we might see it. Hope that above all, our reality, there is love. Love for you and for me and for all. Have a blessed Christmas and may it be full of joy and peace. God bless. Toddlers, toddlers, sign with me. Bless my head and bless my toes. Bless my ears and bless my nose. Bless my eyes and bless each hand. Bless the feet on which I stand. Bless my elbows, bless each knee. God bless every Every part of you, God bless every part of me.